Hi everybody, it's Addy. Oh my god, quick, hit the bell. Oh my god, like, comment, subscribe if you don't, or else... Hi Stony Homies, it's Addy. Welcome to today's video. The lighting kind of sucks ass, but the view is beautiful. So what are we gonna do about that? We're gonna smoke. Cheers. I've got goat milk today by Fiore. Fuck Fiore! Just kidding. Their flower is actually really bomb. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna hope that this looks like cinematic and like sexy. Who knows? I had quite a day, you guys. First of all, I went, I woke up at like 4 a.m. for some reason. I drove two hours to San Diego to do, do a shoot. And then after my shoot, we went and got lunch and it was just like a really lovely time. So this past month has been really hard. On the 10th, my granddaddy died, um, which I feel like I took pretty hard. Um, as did the rest of my family, obviously. We had Thanksgiving. We just got back. Um, I, I got back to LA. At, okay. Here's the deal. I flew in. I got to, I got to LA, LAX. I get, I get a text that's like, hey, you want to work tomorrow? I was like, sure, but I... I was like, I literally just flew in. He was like, go to this nail salon right now. Get your nails done. I was like, homie, I can't. I was like, I'm in an Uber on my way home. Everywhere's closed. Problem solved though, because after that, he found, his sisters found a place. I went, got my nails done, and then woke up at 6 a.m., did a shoot, went to lunch after that. Now I'm here. So it's been a lot. I haven't really had time to process spending time with family, but I had a really great time. I had a really, really wonderful time. Um, it was needed. It was needed, like seriously. Because my granddaddy died, right? And so it, w it was nice to see my grandma and just be able to spend some time with her. Oh yeah, my roommates and I are breaking our lease because I need to move out because my r situation's psychotic. And that's what you missed on Glee. What the fuck? What the fuck? Fuck my mama and ass. Kill me and stab my family. What was I saying? In LA, or now I'm in San Diego, and then I'm gonna go back to LA. I'm moving out. I have to move out of my apartment. This is why y'all haven't seen any content from me because I'm moving out. What the fuck? What the fuck? Stop my grim, grim, what? I shouldn't be making jokes. What am I doing? Yeah, Cheech and Chong followed me, so I'm certified stoner legend. That's me. It feels good. I feel validated. I feel seen. I feel cool. Yeah, I don't know. But shit, so shit has just been so awful, but so amazing this month. I just can't even believe it. Like, I'm at the beach right now. I'm about to drive back. I'm going to have therapy. I have a sandwich and a salad sitting next to me. Are you kidding me? What a good day. The pictures we got were super cool. And I'm happy I drove out here. They were like, who are you gonna hang out with after this? I was like, mm, I don't know. You know, my friend Jordan. Um, TikTok mutual, but I I've never met her in person. So I shouldn't be saying we're gonna go hang out because I didn't even communicate that with, communicate that with her at all. She didn't even know. How was that? How was she supposed to know? I was like, yeah, you know? And they were like, really? And I was like, yeah. But honestly, I don't know. You're like, I don't know. It's one of those, it's been one of those moments where it's like, the pendulum swings both ways, you know? Shit's gonna be horrendous, but then at the same time, it's gonna go whoop and be swag money, you know? So, am I upset? Yes. But, oh, I'm gonna cry. Oh. Um, but I'm also thankful just like to be back in LA and be able to experience things. Um, this is like such a beautiful life. That's embarrassing. I'm so sorry for crying. Um, no, I just feel like I, I feel like I can, um, oh, another tear. I didn't mean to do that. You guys, it's so awkward. Why is that happening? Shut up, Addy. Shut up. Shut up. What are you doing? I'm at the beach though. So fuck it. We ball. Also, this lighting's sick. What was I saying? What was I saying that made me cry? 
I should talk about it. I actually am going to be talking about it later, though, in therapy, because I have, I see my therapist at 8 o'clock p.m. 8 o'clock p.m. tonight. So I got to get home to the apartment that I'm moving out of in the next five days. And I'm going to go to, th and I'm going to talk to my therapist. She's going to be like, wow, that's a lot of stuff that's happened. Also, they're broken up with after Thanksgiving, I think, broken up with. I don't really know. That's not healthy, huh? Anyways, here I am. Yeah, I'm moving out because my roommate's dog bit me. Did I mention that part? In the face. Because she's also not trying to pay for what her cats did, which is piss on all my things all the fucking time. Her pets are constantly pissing on my stuff. And then the other roommate has a lizard that shits on the fucking kitchen counter. I shit you not. I came down for breakfast one day. There the lizard is just shitting away. Don't get me started. All this stuff. My therapist says she's a narcissist. So riddle me this, riddle me that. That's sort of fucked up. Kisses and hugs. <sighs> Whatever. Good luck to her, you know? I think good things are coming. I think I found somebody who wants to help me <coughs> help manage me. I don't know. I think I think the sky's the limit, you know? I, I think I'm I think we're gonna accomplish some really cool things, Tony Homies. And I couldn't and I can't do it without you guys. Like y'all are my the backbone of of me. If I didn't have you guys, where would I be? I wouldn't be I wouldn't be around very much all the time. Ever. I would be sad. I can't believe I've just been holding this thing. Just because it, it gives me a good glow. Gotta stay committed. Gotta stay committed. Um, I just came from a shoot, so I feel it feels appropriate. I had a really lovely day. Also, I like that you can see my, my freaking window right here is broken. My mirror, broken. I just have to, I need to replace it, but I just haven't given any thought, time, question into doing so. Also, this dude I worked with was, like, super awesome. Um, the brand, okay, Koala Puffs is who, like, inspired me to go into cannabis. Because my ex, sh my ex who, who, who punched me in the, that one, he showed me her, like, because I was like, I don't know, I just want to smoke weed for a living. He was like, like this girl? That was the first time he, I even knew it was possible. Like, I didn't even, I had no idea there were, like, cannabis influencers. I didn't know there was a thing. I didn't even know there was a possibility. And then I was like, holy shit, this can, I was like, this just all makes sense. Like, I'm meant to do YouTube, I'm meant to do content, I'm meant to do YouTube. And my niche, I never felt like I really fit fully with, like, the fashion niche. And I wanted to be a fashion girly. I'm just, I don't think I am. And, um, I wanted to be, um do super into makeup but i'm like i'm into makeup but i i don't know i'm just kind of chill chill without makeup too because i like to not go be super into makeup anymore because it kind of fucks with my how i feel about my body and um anyways that's all i gotta say what was i saying oh no yeah so cannabis is like really my niche where i feel like i i found community i found like connection and it's, it's just nice to have that. I feel like I've never really had that. It's grounding. It feels like I've got a home somewhere. Um, it's cool. So, yeah. Not to be cheesy. But I just feel like everything's falling into place right now. And I was, like, really doubting myself for a little bit. And I was like, what if I, what if I should just go back to school right now and just, like, forget about this? Like, but no. This is, this is what I'm meant to do. I know this. I, I know it in my heart. I feel it in my heart. It's way in my heart. Anyways. I just feel so lucky and grateful. And for the first time in a long time, I'm like, I feel like genuine when I'm like, wow, I'm thankful I woke up today. You know? When I'd, when I'd say that before, it was like, okay, whatever, shut up, you dumb bitch. But then like, no, it's so true. Oh, life's just beautiful as shit. It sucks ass and it hurts. But it also feels amazing. You know what I mean? Like, we're just suffering. We're over here suffering over here. But it's beautiful. Like, look at this beach. My life's a mess. I have to find a storage unit and move out all by myself in the next five days. Why 
the fuck am I gonna live? I just have to trust it's gonna work out. Like, really, I just have to trust it's gonna work out. This one girl I met, she was like, you can stay at my place, but you have to be a club promoter with me two nights a week. I was like, yes, I'll do it because then I'm not gonna feel bad about actually staying because I'm like paying my way by working, by clubbing. Wouldn't it be fun to club? Just just to like, I, I'm really bad at doing things like that. So it'd be nice to like have somebody that'd be like, hey, you know, let's go to the club because you have to, you have to be at the club. I don't even drink. I'm <laughs> like, I'm pretty sober. I'm a sober gopher. I'll have like one, dr one glass, one drink. Okay, but a few months ago I did get, but every now and then I do get really, sh really silly, willy, free, willy nilly, and it's not cute, but it's always fun, but it, it feels like it fulfills my, my urge to drink, you know, that just one, one time. I'm pretty sure I was like, I don't know, I was like, I, in college, when I was a freshman in college, I was like, Haha, <laughs> I'm gonna black out every day and see how, how how many days in a row I can black out. Are you kidding me? Who does that? Who does that? That's see, who does that? Somebody unhealthy. Unhealthy. Who the fuck does that? That's so weird. I did. So Oh my god, they were so Okay, so the the people I was working with for the shoot, they were this okay, this is also the first shoot I've had somebody be like there to help me fix my hair and stuff and it was really fun i felt really special and i feel like this is just like mending a hole in my heart from childhood like i think as a child i really i think as a teenager like fashion and stuff like that i think i just wanted to model and and stuff like that i wanted to create things you know i liked editing and everything but i also like just love being in front of the camera and so I was like, I don't want to go into filmmaking because I don't want to be, like, only behind the camera. I want to be in front of it. But I was like, mm, that's so unrealistic to be in front of the camera. Where'd my lighter go? It's okay, I'll have another. But yeah, so he, um, he and his sisters were like, yeah, you're really, like, they're like, this happens, like, don't worry. It's like, it's like a 20s thing, like, you'll be okay, like, I don't know. That's the thing that's really good about having, um, people in your life that are, like, older. Like, everybody I hang out with is in their 30s. Like, I'm 23, and all of my friends are 30. Except for a couple of them. And, but, like, I feel, like, grounded with, like, the 30-year-olds. Like, they're my parents, almost. Like, like, I'm safe. Like, not my parents, but they're, like, family, you know? I'm like, okay, I'm safe, you know? And then, then the other ones are, like, my siblings, you know? That's how I would describe it. <laughs> so that's life. Forgot what I was talking about. If I'm being honest, I forgot what I was saying. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope y'all are feeling well. I hope y'all are safe. I hope y'all are doing good. My phone screen says, if you don't fit in in the present, know that you're meant to stand out in the future. Hello, 20. Yeah. Nice, you guys. <coughs> I'm just so lucky to be live. But where are the... I'm in San Diego. Where are the... Where are the fucking... Salamit, not sal fuck. What are they called? Wait, not the wa walruses? Seals. That's the one. I hope y'all are doing okay. <coughs> <coughs> I hope this isn't just like a place where I complain and talk about myself. Um, but it is sort of meant to be that for me, so. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you with, with that one. I think I'm gonna drive home. I have to pee so bad, and I'm trying to decide how to, how to do that. Let's go. Let's kick ass and and and. What would be the opposite of that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, you guys, let's head out. Okay, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you for watching. You make the world go round. You make my world go round. I fucking appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Like, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. 
for hanging out with me. Now we are going to. I'm I'm going to look at the ocean. I might try to steal a rock and keep it with me. It'll be my November rock. Should I get a monthly rock? You hang tight, hang out, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Fuck it, we ball. Fuck it, we ball. Nobody can stop us. Fuck it, we ball. Okay. This is I just got squirted up my ass with hand sanitizer. That just happened. Okay.